I know that the Neverfull does not need an introduction or even another review. I totally get that because it's such a classic bag. Everybody owns one. But in case you're interested in knowing how I feel about the bag in 2021 and going forward, especially if you don't already own the bag, then I think you will find this very useful. I want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Samorga. I had them redesign a custom organizer for my Neverfull. This is their new material, which is the 1.2 millimeter felt material. Their classic organizers come in a two millimeter felt material. They keep their structure super well and it's very durable. However, what I found out through having owning the two Neverfulls that I prefer my bags to be more slouchy when it comes to the Neverfull canvas especially. I kind of don't really like the boxier look, especially when I'm wearing the bag. Therefore, this 1.2 millimeter felt is so much more lightweight on top of that it's thinner i've asked them to redesign to exactly how i want the pockets to be in fact i want minimal pockets because i tend to just throw things in my neverfull when i use it and i'm not really aiming for the specific you know the smaller pockets i'm really not aiming for those and therefore they become a bit useless for me this new one that i have only weighs 138 grams total and if i did decide to remove the top which i um added this customization of having the security <laughs> so if you want more security with your bag days that you go to more crowded places then you can have this added option. On days that you don't want it, you just remove it, right? I love that about it. So when you remove this, this organizer now is so featherweight light. It is now 84 grams. I just went with the one with the most simple configuration. So really it's kind of just a liner, uh, except with the big pocket inside on one side. And on this other side, I did go ahead and add the iPad pocket metal zipper with beautiful zipper pulls. It goes both ways, so you don't have to worry about which, you know, left-handed, right-handed. There is obviously a lot less structure. You can already tell, I'm sure, like it, it feels a lot flimsier, which is what I'm going for. I want to wear it as if I had no organizer in it. There are about a million reviews on the Neverfull already, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail, but I definitely wanna talk about whether it's still worth it, how I end up using it. The classic Neverfull, I've had mine since 2017. Mine is in the monogram with a really beautiful honey vachetta. If you wanna learn how to patina your bags evenly and beautifully, I do have a very in-depth video where I get into it, so definitely have a watch. But as you can see, even though I take all the precautions and I am careful in general, it still does have a few marks there. They're really not noticeable, honestly, and they do blend in. Nobody notices them except you because it is a raw cowhide you will inevitably sometimes get raindrops it will mark your bag but like i said once you have that golden patina it's not going to be super noticeable anyways only you would know it let's talk about the personalized 
never full so i have mine made a few years ago i'm sure you know about this but in case you don't louis vuitton does allow a personalized uh, version of the Neverfull so everything will be custom made and usually it comes from the France factories basically you are guaranteed a made in France piece if that's important to you I do have a very in-depth review on how I end up personalizing the stickers and why I chose them so definitely have a watch did I really need a second Neverfull even though it's very pretty and personalized absolutely not but I had the opportunity to do it and I said why not I love the Neverfull anyway and because I have the two Neverfulls I end up rotating them more so the wear and tear is even less however if you like the monogram print and you don't like Vachetta trim which is the classic one it only comes in raw cowhide then you might want to consider personalizing it because the personalized one you are able to choose the leather on your bag as well as the color interior and of course all the stickers you get a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine stickers on the bag you also get the corresponding stickers on the pouch but there's only six on the pouch and so it's really up to you whether you want to go full maximum nine stickers or if you want to choose one some people have been successful at not adding any stickers at all but i think the rule in general is that you have to at least choose one those are the main differences of a personalized tote versus a classic tote now i do want to point out something else which you will not be able to see but i can tell you is that the personalized one which came from france and it was made custom order for me the canvas on the personalized one was thicker and the bag itself is much heavier of course the leather of this one is also heavier like the treated black leather uh, Vachetta tends to be a little less heavy and more comfortable they mold to your skin better I'll put the exact weight difference on the screen so it's not super uncomfortable per se but I definitely notice the thicker material the heavier material versus the classic one which I don't know if it's a seasonal thing because they were from different years but I did feel that maybe because it was customized that they do use the better material I don't know I know that the Neverfull has gone up in prices several times while well, LV in general has gone up in prices many many times but they like to do it on their classics especially and of course the Neverfull is one of their most classic handbag do I recommend the custom one or even the classic one in general in 2021 absolutely yes I feel like especially if you get one that is with a treated leather or if you get the Damier Eben they are great pandemic bags I feel like in 2021 maybe even 2022 we're still gonna have the, the global situation like it's probably not gonna be a hundred percent resolved therefore having a great canvas bag that is easy to get in and out of and to fit all your essentials plus a bit more and uh, to have things at a glance I absolutely still think that it's a great bag and it is a great classic it's going nowhere in terms of resale value they are great depending on your wear and tear of course the wear and tear will really determine how well it resells but these do go up in value frequently and if you keep yours in great conditions then you can still probably resell yours at the price that you got it at originally if you keep it for a long time you might break even you might lose a bit or you might even make money depending on like I said the condition and how long you've had it really and how much you bought it at to begin with so these are still a great value purchase um, they're nothing fancy you know I know it's Louis Vuitton but it's really more of a practical bag something that you want to use because like I always say there are bags that you buy because you love but there are bags that you buy because you use those are your everyday bags so even though i don't personally use a neverfull on a daily basis because i don't like having things on my shoulder i love top handle bags now and i also don't tend to carry too much with me i i'm trying to be more sensitive with how much weight i carry um, so i tend to really just gravitate towards them when i go on big shopping trips and when I go to my local mall and I have tons of errands or going to the doctor's office um, day trips these are perfect for that speaking of the monogram print by the way I know that 
there are times when uh, the trend is that people feel tired of logos and there are trends where logos are all the rage. To me, this print is super classic, so it really does not matter whether the trend of uh, less logo or more logo is on. To me, it's more about how you style everything else when you wear your bag. So I think that if you're kind of worried about too much monogram, too much logo, just dress very plain and then rock your bag because uh, with a plain sweater like today, I'm wearing a cashmere turtleneck with maybe a pair of jeans. The whole look is elevated just because you have a designer bag, not because it's monogram, but because you are very tasteful in how you style it. Let me know if this has changed your opinion about organizers. Maybe you never use them because you don't like the structure or you're afraid that it creases your bag, or maybe you just don't want the added weight. This is your answer. You don't even have to get that extra zipper top. You don't have to. Uh, this is just me wanting to have the option because it's removable anyway. And you can go with the ones with more pockets and everything. It's just that I found out through the years of using a Neverfull or using a tote in general that I don't really like those slots. I almost end up not using them because I really literally throw my things in. So the only pockets that I really end up using are the big, big pockets. When I don't want to think and I just want to throw it in a pocket so I know where to find it uh, very, very quickly at a glance, that's pretty much all I wanted in an organizer and the fact that it does protect the interior of my bags. For bags where I am looking for structure, such as maybe a lambskin bag, I will opt for the classic still. But if I want just protection and I really don't care of the extra compartments, I just want the protection for the inside and I just, you know, wanna have something there but I don't wanna feel it, this is what I'll get. I'll get their brand new 1.2 millimeter felt. I also have a 20% off coupon if you wish to use it. Let me know if you're a team organizer or not. Let me know if you're a team Neverfull or Speedy. You guys already know how I feel, but I would love to hear from you. And if you're brand new to my channel again, and if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you back. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.